What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got something that I haven't done since the 16th of February 2019, and that would be Castle Siege here in Lineage 2 Revolution. This will be number 11 in this series. Yes, I ended it on an even number. I thought it was good. And then, I don't know. I really didn't imagine I would ever do one of these again because they got so political back in Valakas N3, back in Stars. It's just it's no point in doing it. But now, today's Castle Siege, even though it's a three-on-one, wasn't very political. I'm being told that the three clans and the three-on-one are actually going to participate. We will find out if that's true or not. I know at least two will. I don't know about the third. So let's get into it. All right, so the clan, the, the one versus the three would be this clan at number two, Transcendence, at 311.6 million combat power. For the clan, they are part of the party alliance. And the three... One of them is right here, Oblivion, 295.98 million combat power. And then there's number 10, Olympus, 269.8. And the final one down here, Dead Soul, 237.1 million combat power. Now, Dead Soul, Olympus, Oblivion, they are part of the Tiny Mother's Clitoris. Alliance. That would be the TMC Alliance. Let's see what was paid. All right, this is for Gluteal Castle. Oblivion, the current owner. Olympus, 185,555,000. Adena, Dead Soul, 113,131,313. Adena, and Transcendence paid 112,111,100. 12 Adena for the right to challenge and or help defend Oblivion for this castle. Let's head into the battlefield. Okay, so this is Oblivion in the blue on the top. <laughs> One of the defenders. The others, yeah, I guess you could say the others would be all attackers, but two are going to actually help Oblivion defend, of course. I haven't done this in over a year, so I don't remember much about this. I know there are two altar imprints. They are not the same buffs as Fortress Siege. I think they're like attack speed and cast speed and critical rate or something like instead of just attack and defense. Eh, it's something like that. I, I don't know. Who cares, right? Uh, Oblivion's gonna get them for the first couple of tries and then depending on how Transcendence does uh, will be dependent on how Transcendence does. Let's see. People are filtering in down here in the orange. We have Transcendence. They are the main attackers, the only attackers. The whales of whales here, as I'm being told. A very hardcore whale clan. In the middle, we've got Olympus. Not as many people here. Minina. Minina? Menina San, San, Menina San, whatever, leader of Olympus. Not that it matters. So Dead Soul must be over here in the green. Yeah, right, trying to find their leader in this mess is good luck to me, right? I've never caught this clan on record before. Oh, well, this is a Castle Siege. There's their leader. I can't see that. Sure, sure something. It's too many icons. People are saying that Transcendence is going to win this simply because of how much they wail out. <laughs> uh, okay. It's that's 10 seconds before we begin. Good luck to all the teams. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Castle Siege number 11. I'm not going to say all these names. Beating the gate down. Beating the gate down. Who's going to be the first out? I have a feeling it's going to be these people. And... Wow. That's not a shocker. Olympus got out before the dead soul did. The dead? 
Okay, Dead Soul's out now. Everybody's out. Here we go. Everyone's going to be beating on everyone now. This is fantastic. I'm sure Oblivion probably allied with Olympus and Dead Soul so that they couldn't kill each other. Which would make sense. Oblivion would love to keep this castle for their alliance. I, I'm not aware of what's going to happen if they were to happen to eliminate Transcendence. Olympus's, Olympus's siege camp. Oh, that's right. You can knock out their siege camps. Olympus is here in force. They're not going to want to be eliminated this quickly. Yeah, I don't know if Oblivion's going to keep this if they're going to hand it over to Olympus to Dead Soul. Who knows? Transcendence has already gotten more kills than all three clans combined. That is phenomenal. There's just colors everywhere. Alright, Olympus is... Siege Camp taking some damage there. Dead Souls is still good. And of course, no, I highly doubt anybody is going to get to Transcendence's Siege Camp. Boy, that's going to be kind of cheesy if they spend... 30 minutes protecting their own siege camp. But at the same token, that's actually not a bad idea because, I mean, once you get knocked out, Transcendence is just going to steamroll Oblivion. Transcendence doesn't even care about these uh, defense towers. Right now, because they know they're going to crush them if they can knock out these other two clans. Oh, wow. Looks like everyone's going at... In a Not even four minutes into this fight, and the game has already crashed once. I guess there's too much going on. But as I was saying, there was a bunch of people, lots of colors, all trying to go after Transcendence. This is exactly what TMC would like to see, is just keeping them in their area. I and mean, then look at that, Transcendence's Siege Camp has taken some damage. That makes me wonder how many more times this is going to crash. It crashed when I was switching over, too. Transcendence on the defense now. They just can't get out of their spawn area. That what some of them do, a little bit. Olympus' siege camp. About half dead. Over half dead now. They're just going to whittle that down. There's no way Olympus is going to survive this if TMC can't throw everything at Transcendence right now. They have to. Because Olympus is not going to... I mean, they're just... They're knocking it down. Like, they don't even care about Dead Soul. Dead Soul... A sliver has been taken off.
Ah, okay. They had a good idea. I guess they were dying too much, though. The altar of water has been reset. I mean, I would literally just throw bodies down this until you can get somebody to come in and do just a little bit of damage to this camp. You don't have to do a lot. Just Oh, oh wow, that was a big chunk right there. As I was saying, you don't have to do a lot, but it's great if you do. But just do little slivers here and there. You got 30 minutes to, to wear them down. Obviously, leave a few behind. To protect your siege camp. Oh, it's under attack again. Oh, wow. This, okay, let's head on over to Olympus. I see some orange over there. Oops! Olympus is, uh, that's the last thing that they need right now. Somebody is beating the crap out of this crystal, this siege camp. They need to do a better job of defending. There, there, I, I have a feeling Olympus is, is about to be taken out. And when that happens, this, I, I believe this, this game is over with. I mean, this siege camp is almost done. They can't stop them from... They're allowing them to come on down here instead of trying to stop them somewhere up here. You got a choke point right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And Olympus has been eliminated. Now Transcendence is going to go on the offense. No doubt Dead Soul doesn't have the combat power to take on Transcendence. But they did, they did pretty well against uh, Transcendence's headquarters. Got it almost halfway dead. Not too shabby. The only thing Oblivion and Dead Soul can now attempt to do is, is keep them contained. But I just don't see that happening. The altar of water has been imprinted. The altar of fire has been imprinted. All altars have been imprinted. I guess they could. But Dead Souls headquarters is under attack now. They're just gonna do the same thing to Dead Souls. Alright, second crash of the evening. Apparently Castle Siege is more bugged than Fortress Siege. Maybe this is why I never did Castle Siege anymore. Though I don't remember the Castle Siege uh, being bugged like this. But their transcendence is going to walk all over Dead Soul. Unfortunately. Ishers. I don't know what I was seeing before. 
Ishers, leader of Transcendence for this particular battle. even care about these defensive towers. Why should they? Let's see, it's like it's either the map or it's the moving around using the waypoints is what's causing this this game to crash. Oblivion is here trying to trying to contain, but some transcendents are slipping through. Transcendence already has over almost 1,100 kills. And the other three clans aren't even close. What is, what, what's up with that? Leader of Dead Soul there, Jessume. And we're following Sunday here, who's just moving along in her little penguin suit. It's unfortunate that I have to do this because it seems like. Oh, we're about to see the end of Dead Soul. And then they're gonna just push their way out. He almost got it. And Dead Soul has now been eliminated. Now we got a one versus one. It took Transcendence roughly a little under 15 minutes to make that happen. But I have a feeling that this is the end right here. We are halfway through this castle siege. Transcendence has taken out two of the camps down below. Main gate, left defense tower. Take, took a little beating there. Oh look, they're still trying to go after Transcendence's siege headquarters. That is fantastic. Wouldn't that be hilarious if they were able to actually eliminate Transcendence? It wouldn't be funny for Transcendence, that's for sure. Oh, wow! Wow. But Oblivion would love to get that down to nothing, obviously. Are they going to be able to do that, though? Defense tower has been destroyed. The altar of water has been reset. Has been reset. One of the main gate defense towers has been taken down, and the there goes the main gate. Have 
been imprinted and amplified. Defense tower has been destroyed. Thirteen minutes remaining in this battle. Too much time. Seemed like a whole heck of a lot was done to it. Oh, here comes an Oblivion. Trying to do some damage. Slivers. Slip through. Slip through and just do slivers of damage, but do it quickly. I don't want to use the map. Kizzy, leader of Oblivion. Okay. I'm really sure what's going on there. Let's go snuck in there. 11 minutes remaining in this battle. Defense tower has been destroyed. And there goes the gate to the tower of fire. Altar of fire. It's not letting me in. There we go. Couple of defenders there. The altar of water has been reset. Defense tower has been destroyed. The altar of fire has been reset. Two thirds of the way through this the battle. Fire has been imprinted. The altar of water has been imprinted. All altars have been imprinted and amplified. And started imprinting the transcendence artifact. started the imprinting. Failed to imprint the holy artifact. They stuck through the gates. Now I am unaware, because this is not Fortress Siege, I don't, if they get a couple of seconds of Holy Artifact imprint time, but this fight goes the distance, I'm unaware if, if Transcendence will actually take the castle or not. You might find out in nine minutes though. Ishers. Try to get a something going on there.
I'm gonna take a chance here. I mean, it shows them that they're they're attacking it, but I guess they're just not really getting much else done here. They got decently close to knocking out Transcendence. We'll give them that. They're still trying. Transcendence not even trying to go through all the gates. They are just coming around the one side. The altar of fire has been reset. The altar of water has been reset. There's a pretty pretty good chance I'm gonna find out the answer to my question. Oh, transcendence getting the altar, the altar of fire. Has been imprinted. Of fire. We got 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, here's Transcendence in force. Oh, they managed to interrupt him. <laughs> started, failed, started, failed, started, failed. That is hilarious. Unfortunately, at the run, I truly believe it's it's a bug with the map. The map of the waypoints, or both. Got a battle going on over here for the Altar of Water. We have five minutes remaining in this battle. And Transcendence now has both altars. Altars have been imprinted and amplified. Give a pat on the back to Oblivion for lasting this long. But Transcendence is going to come hard now. Oh yeah, they just went up there and just cleared house. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh, they got interrupted. Wow. Look, there goes Oblivion. And that's the problem. Transcendence has to start all the way down at the bottom right. Whereas Oblivion, they can start, you know, from... Right around, right all over here. That's their holding area. Boom, they just spawn and run out and run up here. There you go, waste their time a little bit. And then... I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Not a lot. 
Oh, good interruption there. You're under three minutes remaining. Under three minutes from finding out if Transcendence is going to win this via Holy Artifact imprint time or by full Holy Artifact imprinting. I would love for this to go to zero so I can find out if Transcendence can win this. Just from having Holy Artifact imprint time. I, I would love for that to happen. Time to knuckle up there, Oblivion, if you want to stop them. So much time left, though. Two minutes remaining. Well, if I recall correctly, there are four things of stats I have to scroll through. In 90 seconds, can Oblivion actually survive? I don't see why they can't. I think they, they're they not that far behind in combat power versus Transcendence. thousand six hundred seventy plus kills versus what you see here on your board 60 seconds remaining in this battle can oblivion hold them off does it matter if they hold them off does it have to be a full imprint in order to win twenty seconds remaining till transcendence wins this battle 15 seconds. Come on, Oblivion. You gotta you gotta get up there and stop them. 10 seconds. Six seconds remaining. And congratulations to Transcendence for taking the Gluteal Castle away from Oblivion at the final seconds of this battle. That is fantastic. Here are your stats. Oh man. Wow, Oblivion, you had it! You had it, and then you didn't. Not too shabby. You were close on eliminating Transcendence, and you were close on us finding out if they had a fully imprint or not for the win. There's the stats for Oblivion, and there's the stats for Transcendence. Uh, there's no way I'm going to get through all this. In the short amount of time. Oh, well, there's your stats for Olympus. Congratulations to Elmo for taking number one. I'm going to speed race through this. Not like there's a whole heck. There's a lot of dashes there. All right, there are your stats. Okay, not too shabby. Let's see what happened with the rest of the insanity. Well, the rest. I think there's only something else. Dynasty, one... Dion, I don't know if that was political or if they actually won one. And congratulations to Transcendence for winning Gluteo Castle. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Tumblr. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.